Hello welcome to Jacinta Poly Healthcare channel today we would be talking about, keeping fit and staying active. To put it simply, physical activity and exercise are important for everyone. Children, adolescents, and adults of all ages need regular physical activity. Physical activity promotes good health, and you should stay active throughout all stages of your life regardless of your body type or BMI. Understanding the benefits of physical fitness and knowing how active you should be can help you maintain good health and improve your overall quality of life. Here are a few benefits of regular physical activity that demonstrate the importance of physical fitness. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, chronic diseases cause 7 out of 10 deaths in the U.S. and treating chronic diseases accounts for 86% of U.S. healthcare costs. While some diseases cannot be prevented, you can reduce your risk for certain diseases, such as heart disease and diabetes, through reducing risky behaviors and living a healthy lifestyle. Making healthy choices, such as engaging in regular physical activity, can reduce your risk for many health issues and complications that can result in expensive medical care. Increase your life expectancy Numerous studies have shown that regular physical activity increases life expectancy and reduces the risk of premature mortality. There's not a magic formula that translates hours of physical activity into hours of life gained, but research suggests that people who are more active tend to be healthier and tend to live longer. Reduce your risk of injury Regular exercise and physical activity increase muscle strength, bone density, flexibility, and stability. Physical fitness can reduce your risk for and resilience to accidental injuries, especially as you get older. For example, stronger muscles and better balance mean that you're less likely to slip and fall, and stronger bones mean that you're less likely to suffer bone injuries should you take a tumble. Improve your quality of life A sedentary lifestyle and a lack of physical activity can take a toll on a person's body. Physical inactivity is associated with an increased risk for certain types of cancer, numerous chronic diseases, and mental health issues. Exercise, however, has been shown to improve mood and mental health and provides numerous health benefits. Of course, physical fitness also allows you to do things that you may not otherwise be able to do. Stay active Staying active and healthy allows you to do activities that require a certain level of physical fitness. For example, hiking to the top of a mountain is a rewarding experience that instills a sense of accomplishment and provides spectacular scenery, but there are people who cannot experience this due to fitness limitations. But even walking around the zoo with your family or playing on the playground with your children can be challenging for those who neglect physical activity for extended periods of time. Being active means that it's easier to stay active as you get older. Improve your health There are numerous health advantages of physical fitness. Regular exercise and physical activity promote strong muscles and bones. It improves respiratory, cardiovascular health, and overall health. Staying active can also help you maintain a healthy weight, reduce your risk for type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and reduce your risk for some cancers. In other words, staying active is a crucial part of maintaining good health and wellness. Here are the CDC physical activity guidelines for children, adults, adults over 65, and pregnant or postpartum women. Encourage your family to be more active, and challenge yourself to meet daily or weekly physical activity goals. Play outdoor sports with the whole family, schedule time each day to go to the gym, or pick up healthy, active hobbies like hiking or cycling. National Physical Fitness and Sports Month is a great time to get more active, but don't stop at the end of the month. Make exercise and physical activity a permanent part of your daily routine. We all know that exercise is important in our daily lives, but we may not know why or what exercise can do for us. It's important to remember that we have evolved from nomadic ancestors who spent all their time moving around in search of food and shelter, traveling large distances on a daily basis. Our bodies are designed and have evolved to be regularly active. In the same way that a sports car is designed to go fast, we are designed to move. If the sports car is taken out once a week for a three-mile round trip through a town center then it would probably develop engine problems fairly quickly. Over time people develop problems if they sit down all day at a desk or in front of the TV and minimize the amount of exercise they do. The benefits of exercise There are many benefits of regular exercise and maintaining fitness and these include Exercise increases energy levels Exercise improves both the strength and the efficiency of your cardiovascular system to get the oxygen and nutrients to your muscles. When your cardiovascular system works better everything seems easier and you have more energy for the fun stuff in life. 
Exercise improves muscle strength Staying active keeps muscles strong and joints, tendons, and ligaments flexible, allowing you to move more easily and avoid injury. Strong muscles and ligaments reduce your risk of joint and lower back pain by keeping joints in proper alignment. They also improve coordination and balance. Exercise can help you to maintain a healthy weight the more you exercise, the more calories you burn. In addition, the more muscle you develop, the higher your metabolic rate becomes, so you burn more calories even when you're not exercising. The result. You may lose weight and look better physically which will boost your self-esteem. Regular exercise lowers your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Regular exercise helps to control blood glucose levels, which helps to prevent or delay the onset of type 2 diabetes. Additionally, exercise helps to prevent obesity, which is a primary factor in the development of type 2 diabetes. Exercise enhances your immune system. Exercise improves your body's ability to pump the oxygen and nutrients around your body that are required to fuel the cells that fight bacteria and viruses. Staying active reduces the likelihood of developing some degenerative bone diseases. Weight-bearing exercise such as running, walking or weight training lowers your risk of both osteoarthritis and osteoporosis. The adage of, use it or lose it, really does apply to bones. Exercise may help to reduce the risk of certain cancers. Being fit may mean that the risks of colon cancer, breast cancer, and possibly also lung and endometrial cancers are reduced. Studies by the Seattle Cancer Research Center have suggested that 35% of all cancer deaths are linked to being overweight and sedentary. Active people tend to sleep better. Physical activity makes you more tired so you're more ready to sleep. Good quality sleep helps improve overall wellness and can reduce stress. Exercise improves your mood and gives you an improved sense of well-being. Physical activity stimulates the release of endorphins which make you feel better and more relaxed. These in turn improve your mood and lower your stress levels. Exercise can help prevent and treat mental illnesses like depression. Physical activity can help you meet people, reduce stress levels, cope with frustration, give you a sense of achievement, and provide some important me time all of which help with depression. Keeping fit can reduce some of the effects of aging. Getting fit is not just about running on a treadmill for hours in your local gym. It can be a dance class or a new hobby like fencing or mountain biking. It could be a group or team activity like football or a karate class. Whatever form of exercise you choose, you'll almost certainly meet new people and may make new friends. How much should you exercise? According to the American College of Sports Medicine, Current guidelines suggest that to stay healthy, adults between 19 and 64 should try to be active daily and follow these recommendations. Cardio-respiratory exercise Cardio-respiratory exercise, often abbreviated to cardio, is any exercise that increases the heartbeat and breathing rate. Such exercises include walking, running, swimming, cycling, dancing, and team sports such as football, hockey, basketball, etc. Resistance exercise Resistance exercise is concerned with working for the body's muscle groups and building strength. It is recommended that adults train each major muscle group two or three days each week using a variety of exercises and equipment. Very light or light intensity resistance training is best for older persons or previously sedentary adults new to exercise two to four sets of each exercise will help adults improve their strength and power. For each exercise, 8 to 12 repetitions improve strength and power, 10 to 15 repetitions improve strength in middle age and older persons starting exercise, while 15 to 20 repetitions improve muscular endurance. It is recommended that adults should wait at least 48 hours between resistance training sessions. Physical activity can also help people maintain weight loss. Among the nearly 3,700 men and women who are part of the National Weight Control Registry, a group that includes only people who lost more than 30 pounds and kept them off for at least a year, the average participant burns an average of about 400 calories per day in physical activity. That's the equivalent of about 60 to 75 minutes of brisk walking each day or 35 to 40 minutes of daily jogging. But there's quite a bit of variation from participant to participant. Some require more physical activity to keep the weight off, some require less. The cost of inactivity exercise and physical activity benefit the body, while a sedentary lifestyle does the opposite, increasing the chances of becoming overweight and developing a number of chronic diseases. Only about 30% of adult Americans report they get regular physical activity during their leisure time, and about 40% of Americans say they get no leisure time physical activity at all. The Nurses Health study found a strong link between television watching and obesity. 
Researchers followed more than 50,000 middle-aged women for six years, surveying their diet and activity habits. Findings showed that for every two hours the women spent watching television each day, they had a 23% higher risk of becoming obese and 14% higher risk of developing diabetes. It didn't matter if the women were avid exercisers, the more television they watched, the more likely they were to gain weight or develop diabetes, regardless of how much leisure time activity and walking they did. Long hours of sitting at work also increased the risk of obesity and diabetes. Researchers at Tokyo Medical University found an association between spending less time watching television and a lower risk of overweight and obesity in older adults, regardless of whether participants met physical activity guidelines. The study followed 1,806 participants between the ages of 65 and 74. Participants were put into one of four categories based on television viewing time. The less time spent watching television, the lower the participants' risk of becoming overweight or obese. Another study analyzed the global effect of inactivity on the increase of diseases. The researchers estimated that physical inactivity accounts for 6% of the burden of heart disease, 7% of type 2 diabetes, 10% of breast cancer, and 10% of colon cancer. Inactivity also causes 9% of premature mortality. These staggering statistics put the true dangers associated with inactivity into a global perspective. Sit time more recently, studies have found that people who spend more time each day watching television, sitting, or riding in cars have a greater chance of dying early than people who are more active. Researchers speculate that sitting for many hours may change people's metabolism in ways that promote obesity, heart disease, diabetes, and other chronic conditions. It is also possible that sitting is a marker for a broader sedentary lifestyle. Furthermore, staying active does not mitigate the harmful effects of sit time. As you plan your daily activity routine, remember that cutting down on sit time may be just as important as increasing fit time. Now go and ignite an attitude of living active in you and monitor your exercising life. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more recommendations on health, relationship, lifestyle, and other helpful information to form life easier.